of Seattle scientists say they're getting close to producing a viable candidate for a coronavirus vaccine. They're a smaller company up against some big competitors. But Cairo 7's Runji Sinha found out they've made what they are calling major advances in a matter of weeks. It's, it's exciting. It's, um, we started the company with the idea of being able to rapidly respond to emerging threats. Derek Carter says the race is on at HDT Biotech. As soon as the genetic sequence to the coronavirus or COVID-19 was released back in January, these labs got working on a vaccine. They created a synthetic copy of parts of the virus the body would recognize and respond to. Within about a week, we had a, our first vaccine candidate. In this lab, scientists use RNA to deliver the coronavirus into cells. Since it's only part of the virus, the cells can't be infected, but an immune response can happen. HDT said their tests were a success, and the first confirmed case of coronavirus in the U.S., a man from Snohomish County, played a role. We had some serum from that patient, and we looked at the amount of antibody that patient had because he's probably not going to be reinfected very quickly. Their results, born in these labs, showed animals developing immunity. We have a candidate. HDT Biotech does all the work right here in these labs here in East Lake, and they say they've managed to get ahead of a competitor, Moderna, who's working in the same process. Now they're looking for funding to ramp up research and production. I'm going to teach your body to make that protein so that your immune system can recognize it. That was Moderna exec Tal Zaks describing what his company is doing in direct competition with HDT. Moderna says it's ready to get testing going. HDT is working with the University of Washington and several other partners locally, and their goal is to test it on humans or even on human cells to see whether the vaccine is viable. We could go walk into that room here and inject ourselves with it right now if we wanted to. But, you know, the regulatory agencies want um, to make sure it's safe. As the numbers of infected continue to skyrocket across the world, Carter says one major concern is whether coronavirus becomes a seasonal virus that comes and goes annually. Because maybe we can prevent that from, from starting a cycle. The full coronavirus vaccine could be a year away, but work happening here in Seattle proves science has advanced dramatically to tackle these challenges. We're about a decade ahead. I mean, it would have... It, in the past, it would have taken at least 10 years to have a viable candidate. Having one in one year is, is already a big step. In East Lake, Runji Sinha, Cairo 7 News.